Munizioni. Forza! Ecco dei proiettili. Hi guys, this is Matthias coming at you here with a video about the Burton LMR using the trench version because obviously that is the first one you can unlock. Now unlocking this requires you to get 50 capture point defense kills. There's also an optical version and that one requires you to get 50 kills with this trench version. Now the significant thing about this weapon is that it has incendiary ammo that you can use in order to disable planes. And since this is the very significant thing about this weapon that makes it stand out, I'm going to focus this video on just that. However, it is also very, very powerful against the airship behemoth. In this video, I will show you quite a bit of that as well. Now, the incendiary ammo can of course also be used against infantry players, but it seems to me that it has quite a bit more spread, so I normally just use it if I feel like I don't have the time to switch to the normal ammo. Personally, I really don't like the iron sight of this weapon, however, I dislike the AA sight of it even more. For whatever reason, this one does not have the same iron sight as almost all the other LMGs. However, it has unusually good hipfire for being an LMG, so if you can maintain close quarter combat and focus on enemy planes, then this weapon is actually a good choice. Or, well, should I say, it's opinion based, because personally I'm not that fond of it, and mainly that is because of the low magazine size. What's important to understand though is that switching from one ammo type to another ammo type is faster than to reload, so you can benefit from that in uh, hectic situations. I haven't really uh, taken advantage of it so far, or not as far as I know at least, but to be fair, I haven't used this weapon all that much either. Now my big problem when it comes to switching ammo is that I have set my key binding so that it's very easy for me to, by mistake, put on or take off the gas mask if I want to switch ammo. I have those keys next to each other's and the key I'm talking about is switching fire mode, which in this case is switching ammo type. Now personally, from what little I've used this weapon against planes, I feel like the M1907 MG telescopic is a better choice overall. And that is because of the sustained fire that you can maintain with that weapon with its 250 bullets magazine. At the same time, however, there's no denying the benefit of being able to disable a plane really, really quickly. Now, if you feel like this is a weapon for you, if you had some good experiences with it, or if you feel the very opposite, then by all means share it with us in the comment section below. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. I killed Snow White.
ammunition. It's kind of weird how this ammo does so much damage to the behemoth when the AA rocket does like nothing. Vehicle destroyed. Nothing ever rages. Everybody knows it. Too calm and mature. If my team helped, would have killed him. I'm not entirely convinced. You just, uh, you disable them if you just hit them a little bit. See? Disabling planes here, left and right. It's not easy to be a plane.